I'm a hip life artist and I go by the name Yapuna or Punavium, but my real, real name is Kojo Asari. I was really popular before I became famous because I was one of those best rappers around the, um, the country. Um, mostly when they had the big shows, the biggest shows in Ghana, I had to go and represent, you know. There are these shows that when before the main acts come, they introduce new acts and I was one of the best. So I was really popular before I became famous. And that made me have that numbers. With Amen, when I released that first single, because at that time people looked forward for me to release my single and it never happened. So I looked more than a, a battle rapper or a freestyle rapper. But now, after Amen, yeah, through my hustle that I had to think about something that would really blow me. And I remember we were on a trip to Nigeria and I had to represent Ghana at that time. And at that time I didn't have any good single. So I wrote that song in a bus when I was coming back to Ghana because I had a great performance. And at that time I was working with Yava Global and she officially, you know, put us into, um, you know, something better. And she promoted the song really well and it, it blew up in Ghana. All my life in pigeon music, I'm living my life alright. Okay, get to youth, get high every day. Just do your music and do no cooking. When him Jehovah, when him who right? Amen, no, amen. So we don't move forward, we see nobody. Amen, no, amen. Mashia, shia, 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 no mashi. Amen, no, amen. My album is coming out, uh, Uptown, uh, Upness from the Uptown Energy. I already dropped. Um, Faster Than Ghost, which was shut down. And Upness, the first single, is already doing well with Master. Um, I would like them to follow up Uptown Energy Music and follow more of Yapuna, because our style of music is taking it slow to the top so that the other average people will know that they also have a king. This album is really based on me. I'm not saying I don't want to feature anybody, but it's really based on me. And I look at the track or I listen to the track and I've and I imagine who can be on the track. It's not because, oh, there's an artist in Nigeria and he's big, so you have to feature him. Oh, this is Afro beat, so we have to do it together. I mean, you have to listen to the song. Sometimes it's not even featuring an African artist that can make it real song, that can make it that song that you want, you know? Because when you do the song, and you don't you don't understand yourself or you don't really give them what you really want so that they listen to then it becomes like the people who are listening to the song knows better what you are doing but you should know better than the people who are listening to the song you know so my, my album right now is really based on me and the happiness project me and Stoneboy's song, it was part of my album and it was the first single to come out from my album that we chose to promote. But unfortunately, it came, I feel like it came, the song came out at the right time because, you know, there were these controversies about Anna's investigations and all that, but um, it was part of my album and that was the first release. I have songs with Stoneboy on that same album. I think I featured him on two tracks. And the first day the song came out, it blew up more than any other song could have blown in Africa. And it was the fastest, you know, promoted song yeah, in West Africa. So I think it was number one for a long time and it's still number one in in Ghana right now. Every Ghana artist is really wonderful to do to do a song with because now the system is really open that even the young ones are really doing well. People like um, Sugar Kwame, people like um, B for Bona, you know, Chrissy Yata. It's, it's really getting wide. So I would really wish to do music with a whole lot of Ghanaian artists, not specifically one.
Yeah, it's meant to change every time. Um, not only music, people change, clothes change, you know, so things change. I believe music will change tomorrow. There will be a new beat tomorrow to make Afro beats move on. And these things, I believe, changes to make the music or the Afro beats better. I don't think it's changing because we are changing from Afro beat. We are just adding stuff to it um, because people who are coming up have different kind of styles and they have mature to the extent say new things because if you look at this Afrobeat everyone is from way back it hasn't been like this and the more it's it's getting mature the more it, it gets nicer and the game opens so that the young ones with different styles can also come in. Yeah, sebe sebe boko fa bo yonko na di biya. Na bo yonko mpe na bo yonko na di nichiya. Hunsenya me bo wabwa biya ni ni humbo duya. Things have changed but they have changed for the better because you know I have a daughter now and I have a family, certain things that I can do on the street or certain things that I used to say in my music. Now I can't say them no more because it has changed, yeah. I've been in relationship all my life through my music life too, so I really know how to, you know, balance both. At the end, when when I'm done with studio, takes much time. Studio really takes much time, so you have to you have to have a time for your family. Uh, I'm now I'm and I'm, I'm away. I'm in abroad. And my family is back home in Ghana. I have to work, and then when I go back home, I have to, you know. They understand me. You, know, you sit down, you talk to them. Everybody must work. We must all chop. I'm always working because sometimes music is not about pen and paper or just going to the studio. It's about the things you see, where you go, the things around you. Um, in my, it makes that makes my music so great because I I always rap or sing about things which are around me. I don't sing about things that I can't see or I can't touch. Everybody get loose, cause I they feel like God. I they feel like God, oh. I they feel like God, oh. Yeah, that verse no matter how you cook, the basti sa me di e bukum banku. Yeah, e she ni mwa e e punim bu. Men tra me di ane kase man en tra min su style. Bono bi me rap no swa e se dragon eye. Hustle no su si ane se ada na na. Rasta man a chine puff or si ane na. Me da me nyami asi ane me nyami no bi ane high. Yeah, I want to start a project, but I need um, enough time. Like I have a year more to plan. It's called the Save One Project. Um, is to break charity homes because mostly where I grew up from, I grew up from the street, and I know how charity or people who donate to charity doesn't reach the people. Like when you go to more charity homes, I can tell you they have more um, people invest. People put money there, but at the end of five years, you can't find anybody from the charity home who is like this person. Or he's, oh, I grew up from the charity home and I'm the captain of Black Stars. But there are so many good footballers down there, you know. So the project is called Save One. Instead of saving so many people, we concentrate on saving one with good talents or good abilities so that we can promote them. So if you save one, then that one can save a thousand. I am born to lead where you, you are born to follow. I be mafia, yaron zongo, me a de do de de follow. I told you I've, I grew up from the ghetto, and most of the people who grew up from the ghetto, in the music business, people take them serious, and they get the, one of the biggest management, and they go. But it's not all of them. But I'm part of the people who took it slow, and then had the, uh, was very focused and determined, and today it's 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 earning me something really great. So I want to be a proof to those people, to those people who are hustling on the street doing music, that if you are focused and you work hard, you know, it's gonna be okay. You can follow me on Instagram, P O N O B I O M, Ponobion, on Instagram and all of my social media networks. Now me to me shiny pass on our Jimmy Nafe or Numko Kenya Kurawa mo Uba Kumasi Abu Pian and a master. Ready for yes, you can see the comma pasta. We see a case, yes, we fianca when you banker.